Today's video is all about doing the heart transports. Now, I just want to mention that out of all the activities in Albion Online, this is one that you should technically never, ever do for any reason because it's simply not worth your time. It is not worth the investment. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the reward. But I know you're going to do it anyway because you're bored just like me and maybe you need some excitement in your life. So, we're going to be doing 15 heart transports to Martlock, and here's what the build we're going to be using and why we're going to be using it. So I have the invisibility potion in case I get dismounted and I need to turn invisible. I have the guardian armor because I take less damage while mounted with this on. I have minor work boots to run away. I have a carving sword with the iron will ability on W, so I can cast this, and then I can cast my boot ability, and then I cannot be purged, meaning they can't stop me from running. I have a Guardian Helmet so I can use a shield while mounting up. That's really it. I have a Ford Sterling Cape so I can become not stunned, silenced, or rooted one time. Beef Sandwich for more health, and that's pretty much it. A bag to carry all this heavy stuff. I'm also using the Wild Boar. This is the least safe mount to use. However, this mount lets me run around at normal speed on foot without going overweight. And here we are at the Bridgewatch uh, Enlistment Captain, and we're going to take the Martlock mission for the Major Contract. Let's go. So right now, I'll only be at 69.75% carry weight if I accept this. And for today's video, we're going to be timing it. So we can uh, we can do a little few things here. So this is the risk. We're risking 583,000 silver. And we're going to have a little timer here that I'm going to start once we start moving. So I'm going to accept the contract. And by the way, I just want to point out that there are people AFK near me. This is this is a real thing. Listen closely. There are people somewhere in the vicinity of my screen that are simply AFK scanning people automatically with a hack program for when they get uh, one of these packages. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I'm going to zone out immediately, hope, hopefully hoping that their scout doesn't catch me. So... There we go. Uh, the mission has started, and that means the timer is now going to start. I'm going to fast forward through this, and uh, yeah, here we go. So one of the main reasons why you don't want to do this is it's so easy to gank, especially if you are not on a bear, a solo player with bear paws, and even though when that gets nerfed, it'll be uh, permafrost prism, they can dismount you. Yes, they can dismount you solo, and they can still kill you, and you don't lose your gear, but you do lose the transport. The 15 hearts that you're transporting is gone, and they get a fraction of that. I think they get, like, six or nine of them. So you're just making someone else richer, and you're taking all the risks. They're taking no risk at all. And there you have it. That took basically 12 minutes. And uh, right now, in my inventory, it says my estimated market value is 736k. Which it technically isn't, but um, let me go ahead and fill out the screen here. So reward is 736,000. All right, and then we'll do some basic little math here. We got 736, uh, subtract that by 583, and that's 153k every 12 minutes. So profit, 153k, x5 equals, and this is how much you can uh, expect to make per hour, 765k per hour, per hour. So that's not very good. Also, it's insanely high risk. So yeah, it's really, really rough to do. I don't recommend that we do it, but, um, you know, it's just how it is. Now, we could do this again, but this time with a bear mount, because the bear mount is far, far safer. And yes, I'm just going to quick sell these because uh, I don't care. I'm just doing this for the video. Otherwise, you would want to do this with premium and with sell orders so you're not losing as much. Because, I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm selling these for 30k each, right? Someone's getting a deal. Someone got a good deal today. I actually lost money buying the beast hearts, but hey... You know, we, we gotta do it for the content. Uh, I can't type beast heart. <laughs> I, can't, I still can't spell it. There we go. There's 15 right there for me. We're gonna buy that 15 and uh, grab them out of here. There we go. And now we're gonna do this again. We're gonna reset the timer now because uh, it was 12 minutes on... And uh, what, what did I write? What am I writing? A boar. On, a, on a, the best boar possible. The elite wild boar. Yes, sir, indeed. We're going to use a safe mount now. We're going to use uh, the grizzly bear. That's right. We're going to put the boar away. The boar is now retired. And we're going to pop out the old grizzly. There it is. And uh, we're going to ride this bad boy. And we're going to time it. See how long it takes. 
I'm gonna hide the text here and let's get started for the next run and see what the profits are for that one because I'm curious. I don't think it's worth doing, but um, th there were two gankers on the road and there was a blob I crossed through. Nothing too dangerous really, but it's whatever. We're doing the same thing. Martlock contract, 15 hearts. Let's go and start that timer. Now on a bear, you can't be solo ganged. I have tried every possible 8.4 maximum spec combination of gear in the entire game to solo dismount a bear and you simply cannot do it unless they're AFK or you manage to chase them through three whole zones and they, and they don't know how the protection shields worked. But you're going to need at least two to three people to take down a bear doing a transport. Alright, and on the bear, it takes about 15 minutes to make, you know, the same amount. So let's get it up on the screen here. And so the profit of 153k times 4. Hold on, let me add this up. This is on bore. And then uh, 153... K times 4 equals, and then we'll do the math, 153 times 4, 612, there we go, 612K per hour on bear. So now you know how much you can make, and these are awful terrible numbers, and like I said, you, you can't just go and sell them to the market because of the current market prices, you actually have to sit there and make a sell order and wait. It's, it just sucks, guys. Faction transporting just sucks so bad. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. I'm actually going to sell below market value for 37751 There we go. Put those bad boys up. And uh, they'll sell one day. Or maybe they won't. I don't know. Unless someone wants to craft some capes. But yeah, that's uh, that's faction transporting. Don't do it. It sucks. The, the, the silver per hour sucks. It's for bots. Only bots do faction transports. And uh, it's so easily gankable. It's so easily gankable. I passed by so many people doing faction transports, doing my own faction transport that I could, I could easily pick off, right? So easy to pick off. Anyway, that's that's the video. I hope you guys uh, you know enjoy it and stuff. And let me know what you thought. And uh, don't forget to you know hit the like button. And um, on the right side of your screen, there's a video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click it, then oh, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be it's gonna be raining, but only when you're outside. If you go inside, it won't be raining. And if it doesn't rain where you're from, then traffic lights will be red. You, you'll you get a red light every single stop, no matter what.